The internal disaster plan is being activated. Daniel Aaron, 44, has a pyogenic hepatic abscess. Uh -huh. County sent him to us when they discovered he also has MERS. First case in California this year, Dr. Harrison. All right, let's prep him for surgery. Alert the CDC nurse lines. Roger that, nurse. MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, is a virus that usually presents with cold-like symptoms. MERS is contagious. 15 blade. Ooh. All right, thank you, nurse. And usually difficult to distinguish. Anna. So it's got a firm grip on the patient. I told you. In this case, it's incredible. The virus has caused septicemia, which seeded Mr. Aaron's liver which is why he has a large right lobe hepatic abscess on the dome. Bovey, you are quick on the draw. Just doing my job, doctor. Uh, I can't get to the abscess from this approach. All right, we're going to open them up. I'm going to do a partial. Thank you, Jason. Everyone, out. We're going to a skeleton crew. What the hell's going on? The nurse who admitted your patient was found in the corridor. She's exhibiting symptoms of MERS. She was wearing a protective suit. So the health workers in Texas who got Ebola. Everyone, out. We set up a testing station outside the OR. Please have your blood drawn. It takes two days for MERS to show up on a serum PCR, Dr. Shane. You know that. We're still checking everyone's blood and swabbing them. Oral and nasal. Show's over! I can do this alone. I'm sure you can, but I'm staying. Thanks, g -son. You can leave. No, I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Good. Still no there's fluid in his right chest. Uh-huh. You tell me why? Sympathetic effusion. An exudative pleural effusion caused by disease in a nearby structure. In this case, the subdiaphragmatic abscess has caused the fluid to accumulate. Excellent. Recommendation? Uh, you need to drain it with a 32 French chest tube, Dr. Harrison. No. You do. OK, you're going to stick your finger in? Deeper, along the top of the rib there, till you feel the lung. Got it? Jesus! Uh, no, it's torn. Oh, that did not teach. That touched. Didn't buzz. Is he still here? Drink fluids. He's still there. Jesus. Are you ever going to give this guy a chance? You okay? Yeah. No, yeah, I'm good. Sure? I think I'm... I'm just going to lie down for a bit. Yeah, go. Uh, right. Wrenched ankle. 200. Nurse Lines is coding. Dark impressions. I'll shock her. Chris, bagger. Setting for 360. Clear! Clear! Clear. Oh my god, they've lost her. I'm so ready to take that third blood test now! Get another nurse in here! Ah! So far, the two EMTs that drove the index patient to St. Matthews are showing no symptoms. The first patient at St. Matthews to have contact with the index case was Nurse Lyons. That's right. We're waiting for her family to fly in so we can get permission to do an autopsy right. and determine the exact cause of death. She got sick so quickly. Now, we don't know the underlying causes that may have compromised her immune system. What if it's not MERS? We don't need another voice at this point, Dr. Pantia. Thank you. Ji Sung's fever's up. We are monitoring everyone for any changes. Like you monitored Nurse Lyons. I think we have more than enough experts to handle this. I'm not going to sit around and wait for this. No, you're not. You're going to go back to your patients. This is not your jurisdiction. Excuse me? Stay out of this, Alex. Your jurisdiction, my ass. OK, tell me the lab results for Jisung and Dr. Shane and Harrison are in. They are, Dr. Pantier. Can I see it? I was instructed to give them to the CDC doctors only. By who? Dr. Solano? Who? Huh? 
Um, Dr. Sawano? Dr. Pantier? I think they found Mr. Shaw's wife. If she doesn't have red hair... She has red hair. Call him. And find me and tell me when he comes in. Okay, we've eliminated CJD, Dengue, Ebola, all the heads. What else? Zika, bird flu. Okay. We reached Mr. Shaw, Dr. Pantier. He's here. I told you her hair was red. She was brought in two days ago as a Jane Doe. They found her in the park unconscious. Miranda loves to feed the squirrels. Are you ready? Yes, she was. But that's not my wife. Oh, thank God. <sighs> no disrespect. What are all those bumps? Cause of death, pneumonia. Hell it is. Come on, Mr. Shaw, let's go. Alex, what is so important you pulled me out of a meeting? This is not MERS. It's a mnemonic plague. I need three doses of gentamicin and a two milligram loading dose for Jesse, Pierce, and Jisung. These are not your patients. Nurse Lyons didn't catch MERS from Mr. Aaron. She got pneumonic plague from a Jane Doe who was admitted two days ago. So did Jesse, Pierce, and Jisung. They all had contact with her. And I want 1.7 milligrams of gen every eight hours around the clock. No, wait, you have no jurisdiction here. I hate waiting! Hanahan is finishing the autopsy now, and until we get those results, you do nothing. I am not waiting. Alex, the CDC, what if you're wrong? I'm not. <laughs> 